close your eyes, and watch your breath coming in, watch it going out. Notice where you feel the breathing right now. Let your attention stay right there. Try not to wander off to other things. If you do wander off, just come right back. Try to be here consistently, because it's by being here consistently that you make some changes in the mind. You increase your mindfulness, your ability to remember to stick with something. You increase your alertness, your clarity about what's going on here. And you increase the ability to see what's actually going on in your mind and in your body. If you just jump around, staying right here for a bit, and then jumping off someplace else, and then jumping off someplace else, and then coming in and checking up here again, you don't really see continuously what's happening. You don't see the connections between what you're doing and the things you're experiencing. But if you stay right here, you begin to see very clearly, okay, if I focus like this, these are the results. If I focus like that, those are the results. If I think this, this is what happens in my body. Because sometimes thoughts that stir you up don't just stir up the mind, they stir up the body as well. You can notice that, okay, these things that are stirring you up, are they really good or are they going to cause trouble down the line? That's the kind of thing you can see when you stay here. So it's important that you stay here because it's these kinds of thoughts that can run your life. And you want to make sure that it's being run by good thoughts, thoughts that you trust, thoughts that you see are really have some integrity, really do have some truth to them. Because otherwise you leave things on automatic pilot and you go running off someplace else and you don't know who made the program for automatic pilot and who's going to come in and try to take it over. It's like you've got many, many voices in the mind, many different opinions. It's like having a whole committee. And sometimes when the chairman of the committee is gone, then the, who knows who's going to take over the, the deliberations of the committee. So you want to be right here to make sure everything in the committee is going the way you want it to. That way you get to shape your life in the direction you want it to go. So this is an important skill. Give it your time, give it your energy. So you really can stay right here. And if anything comes up, you see it clearly for what it is. Then you can decide what to do with it. That puts you in charge, the skillful member of the committee in charge, the one that really does want long-term happiness and not, not just settle for short-term things. Another image is of a teacher in a classroom. When the teacher's in the room, everybody's behaving. When the teacher leaves the room, the kids go running around. So the teacher has to be here all the time. And you want the teacher to be here with a sense of ease and well-being. That's why we work with the breath as our topic, because you can adjust the breath. So it feels good coming in, feels good going out, and you're happy to stay right here at the right point to stay, the point where you can see things as they're happening, and you can change them in time if they need to be changed, or you can foster them, encourage them if that's what they need to. Everything happens right here, so you want to be right here as consistently as you can.